So as you probably know in many of my projects I'm using or rather in a lot of projects I'm using a standalone ECU and that's why I did a guide on Speedwino ECUs, how to tune them, how everything works with them and I pretty much tell everybody if you are a beginner and want to get into tuning a Speedwino ECU is probably the best and also cheapest method to get into things. Well, there's a new competitor in town, or rather it has been since maybe a few years now, but that is pretty interesting, especially price or value-wise. This is the RAS EFI UA EFI, so ultra affordable EFI. This is also available in a casing that resembles the Bosch um, ECUs, for example. It is a little bit more expensive, but it makes packaging a lot easier. Um, but this here is the budget variant that is also a lot smaller and a little bit cheaper. A little bit off context, I also have a Patreon where I show some background videos that don't get shown on YouTube and uh, I also answer any questions that uh, are related with uh, tuning and uh, if you like have or want to tune your own car, need any info, need any tips, how to do something that I may not have covered in a video, uh, you can get that answered. Or if you have any questions about your project, just uh, ask them there or you can ask them there or in any other uh, spot or any other uh, source. But of course, there you can also uh, support my efforts to bring tuning to everybody and support projects like this one, because this takes quite a while uh, as I am not made of gold or money. In fact, uh, this whole channel is on a pretty strict budget. And this is where this brings it all together or all back because as I said, this thing here is pretty cheap. You can get those starting at about 175 USD. So meaning that would be without the plugs and without any connectors if you want to uh, you can also get like the Molex connectors on there and a crimp set as well. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but not groundbreaking. Comparing this to a universal Speedwino, um, those are a similar price, but actually are a lot more limited in functionality. I still stand by Speedwino for a beginner because it is a lot, there are less options in uh, Tuner Studio if you want to tune. Uh, it's a lot easier to understand and a lot easier to uh, uh, find your way into it. So if you are a total beginner and want to get started, I still recommend the Speedwino because that's just much easier to handle. Uh, while this does not have as much functionality and uh, like outputs, it is still easier. This on the other hand, it has up to six injection outputs and six ignition outputs. So you can already use a fully sequential setup on a six cylinder engine or even up to 12 cylinders with wasted spark or paired in, uh, ignition or injection. Um, so this is the first thing that's pretty cool. It also uses a STM32 CPU, so it's a lot faster. So comparable to uh, like Megasquirt 3 and uh, other ECUs like EMU Black, those also use an uh, STM32 CPU. So it's a lot faster than this, which makes a lot of things like auto-tune, uh, closed loop control a lot better. What it also supports is uh, dual throttle bodies or uh, dual electronic throttle bodies. That's the main thing because electronic throttle bodies can be handy in a lot of ways. You can program anti-lag, which is just pretty fun, um, but you can also program things like a uh, progressive throttle curve. You can program stuff like traction control much easier. You can program things like cruise control, which in most project cars honestly isn't really necessary, but it is there, you have the option to do so. And one thing that makes this also a great value is it has an added or onboard wideband controller. So you just pin in your uh, wideband sensor, like an LSU 4.9, and 
off you go. You don't need to buy an extra gauge, an extra AEM wideband or something. Um, so that again saves you around 100 bucks, which considering this is only 200, is quite a huge savings. So this is basically the basics. Uh, there are obviously, there are things like a CAN bus that is also available or usable. You can use SD card logging because it has an SD card slot on the back. Uh, the only downside, which I think, well, you could add a map sensor or you should add a map sensor uh, like uh, an external one. There is no internal map sensor. You have to uh, solder that on yourself if you want to use one. But as I said, you can use an external one as well. That's not that big of a deal. I am going to use this issue in my MX-5 project. So I am already starting with the wiring on Patreon, you can see actually a, a current state of the project, an update video, you could say, on how things are going, what I'm going to do and uh, what is planned. Well, I did explain that in a previous video on this project as well, a little bit. I now have further plans and um, this thing is going to help me a lot. Anyway, so much for this new ECU. I think it's pretty cool. If you have any questions about this or if you like, are running one yourself let me know in the comments down below how you found it or how you are finding it using it tuning it etc i have tuned a few before and i was pretty satisfied i did not have many problems so i can't say much negative about it and uh, that's pretty much the best you can say about this issue the only downside is that you don't have proper support it's only community support based so uh, yeah you'll have to if you have any problems and want to ask somebody join the discord server while the people that made this issue are also in there um, it's not an official support let's say it that way that's it from me i wish you i wish you a nice day as always and goodbye